Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. It feels so good to be back, you guys. For those of you guys that don't know, I was on a little bit of a hiatus because I manifested and purchased a home, which was such a learning experience and I'm still learning and grooving with it as we go along. But thank you for being so patient and supportive and encouraging of me during this time because this is literally, this has been my first time ever. So it's been amazing, but to have the support of my friends, my family, and my tribe behind me has been absolutely exhilarating to say the very least. But as exciting as it all has been, what really makes me happy is to be able to do my work. Um, this means creating my oils. This means working with the, the stages of the moon, pulling charts and pulling cards for you guys. And that's really what brings me joy. So I'm back and this is exactly what it is that we're doing. This message today is our messages from spirit. Spirit, what you know, spirit has for us, what the divine wants us to hear, what is in store for us, messages that empower, messages that uplift, and things that is that we need to hear right now. So I don't want to spend too much time talking about this or just talking, you know, um, talking too much. I really want to just dive into these messages and see what's up. First pile is this crystal right here. You guys know I'm not the best with crystal names. So if you wanna comment this one down below, I'm here for it. <laughs> but that's pile number one. Pile number two is another crystal, but I call this my stormy baby. And pile number three And the Oracle decks are all picked out for, for each of the piles. However, I have not seen these piles. And I will be shuffling from the Wildcraft, I think. Um, I forget the name of this tarot deck. But um, yeah, just to see what messages come through. All right. That being said, I will go ahead and meet you guys at your pile. Okay, my loves. For those of you guys that chose pile number one, this is your message. Um, first thing I wanted to say and first thing that's jumping out to me is I am, I'm hearing spirit say ask me a question <laughs> Ask me a question. This is a pile that has something I'm feeling something very specific on their heart on their chest in their mind in the forefront of their mind something that they've been focusing on something that's I Just heard the word bewildering bewildering something that might be confusing you or something that you might be just stuck on. Bewildered. That's such a specific word. Puzzled. Okay, let's see. Let me, I don't want to even like look at the, which cards these are. I want to look at the pictures. First things first, what I'm getting is this need to ground, this need to center. And I see this, um, as through the senses. I see this as through physical, very touch. It's interesting because this is giving me very Taurus type of energy where we, regardless of your sun sign, moon rising, it you will benefit from touching, from tangible. I'm seeing this, we have some liquids here, but I'm seeing hydration and something as simple as switching how you drink water from ice, this is a very specific message, but from ice to room temperature, room temperature to ice, or warm water with tea in it. So it's water, it's still water at the end of the day, but it's the temperature of it, it's how it feels how it makes you feel by the way that it feels. Does that make sense? So for some of you guys, you might need something refreshing, cool, crisp to wake you up, and that's what ice is for. You may have learned and heard that drinking um, ice water is bad because it shocks your system, but everything has its time and its place, and your body has its own special, unique needs. So that's the message that's coming through. So if for, for some of you guys, if you need nourish, nurturing, if you need support, if you need comfort, hot hot tea or hot water with a lemon in it is going to be more vital to your body and give more to you versus cold water or room temperature water that you might be used to drinking. Now, I know that that's a very specific message, but that's what's coming through. And that could be a metaphor, you know? So that could be a metaphor. That can mean that you might just need to switch up how you 
do things in your day-to-day -day routine by feeling how it makes you feel. So it could be a temperature change, it could be an adjustment, it could be opening the, opening the windows of your home and feeling the breeze instead of you, what was once working for you, which was having the windows closed and, and, and smoking your apartment or smoking your house with incense or sage or whatever the case is. So you might need to switch. I'm seeing a switch in the elements. I'm seeing a switch in how you ground and center yourself. Um, and it's very tangible. There's this, it just feels very refreshing you know, to your, to your energy right now, to your spirit. In that, I'm definitely seeing you attracting. I'm seeing you stepping back into a space of attraction. I'm drawing things into you simply because you, what was, it's almost like um, when someone finds something that works for them, but they start to get bored with it or it starts to become routine. So even though it was a sacred, you know, adjustment or something that was needed in the past, you kind of, life kind of evolves and you're kind, you're always evolving. So I'm seeing again this need to kind of get back into changing changing this changing the routine, changing things up once one once again. Okay? And with this, okay, we have judgment card, we have ace of pentacles, we have six of cups, we have page of air, and we have knight of of wands. I'm sorry, page of swords and knight of wands here. So again, this is about getting creative this is about being inspired this is about um i'm getting the sense of i'm getting the sense of once you get inspired like once you're attracting and manifesting and switching your energy up you know doing things differently switching up your routine it's going to take you to the next level or take it to the next level meaning that let's say this is a relationship that's been bothering you or something that's kind of been heavy on your heart so if in your relationship or in your life you're doing the same routine monotonous things it can feel kind of dull so when you start to spice things up a bit when you start to um Beef. Oh, you know what I'm just seeing? I'm seeing um, breaking out of your norm, normal, like out of the, your monotony of things. So this could be taking a trip. This could really be taking a trip. I'm seeing hiking. I'm seeing biking. I'm seeing getting out on the water. It's very elemental. It's very in the elements. It's very in the physical. In that movement, in that excitement, you are going to get an awareness. You're getting awakening. This is the card that jumped out for you as well. Awakening, the judgment card. This is when, you know, things start to fall into place in a way that sometimes feels very shocking. But I, I, for some reason, I'm hearing the word momentum. You start to build momentum. Wow. Okay. Um, something about, okay, this, I want to, I feel really called to move into the page of air card and catnip. Catnip, we, when, when we're working with catnip, it's about attraction, but air is the mind. It's the clarity of the mind. It awakens the mind. Catnip is a lot like mint and it just kind of punches your senses right open. It clears you out. It clears your head, it clears your mind, it clears your spirit. And I feel that you getting, and this Six of Cups card here, you guys, this feels very refreshing, but if I'm getting this vision that the same cups of water and the same beverages, if they sat out there for too long, they would get, what would be refreshing and what would be crisp would start to, to rot, would start to muddle, would start to get stank. <laughs> So what is what was kind of a good thing and what was refreshing and a good time then starts to become messy, starts to become problematic. And with this Six of Cups, it's like a blessing, but it's also a warning that, you know, it, it's good to keep things crisp. It's good to keep things fresh. And there's movement 
that needs to occur with that. There's movement that needs to happen with that. Meaning, like, you gotta get out. You gotta clean things up. You gotta, you know, take matters into your own hands. Especially with this card. This is the Knight of Wands. Do you see how she's actively at the mo using her mortar and pestle in order to grind up her herbs? And this could be you um, switching up the herbs that you're using for your, your candles or fixing up what you eat or how you eat it or what your day-to-day -day life looks like. But it's there to, to spice it up. It's there to, to break, break things through. Nettle is the same thing. Nettle, nettle herbs will clear you out. They'll clear the head. They'll clear the mind. And especially with awakening, this card of awakening, there's this um, revamp. Like I'm seeing like a revamp, like a, a revamping in your energy, a revamping in your current circumstances that is being encouraged by spirit right now. Six of Cups is kind of really, is low-key bothering me because I mean it when I say it could be a blessing or it could be a curse. I just feel like if something sits for too long, yeah, turmeric, eight of earth, eight of pentacles. And do you see how the, the breeze is blowing the linens in the back? It's, I just feel like it's good and healing for you guys to get out, to get moving to adjust, to switch things up. And even if you are, especially with Six of Cups, if you are revisiting something, yep, Two of Cups here, and then we have Six of Air. So there's some communication going on here. There's some um, something that you wanna be connecting with or something that you wanna be, some of you guys I actually heard the word disconnecting from, but it's just, um, it's interesting because it's like, before you make ma major, major changes, or ma before you make an initial judgment, you're being called to, to get out, to get in the elements. Don't make a, a rash decision right now. I feel like a, a decision will be made for you from spirit. So, and I think that that's too what's coming through is that if you get out, especially with the six of air here, and we have these feathers, these are messages from spirit that when you're out, walking, hiking, biking, being physical, cooking, cleaning, being out in the yard, um, and you see feathers, that's spirit's message, that spirit trying to send messages to you that, listen, we're here, talk to us, communicate, especially with feathers, that's air. Air is communication, it's the mind, it's the thoughts. So you being physical, it, it's and you being active, this will inspire you in your work it will inspire you in your relationships it will inspire you to make things that were starting to feel stagnant it starts to give them life again and i'm really getting a strong message here that you don't want to make a quick rash judgment right now um you want to consult spirit your spirit guides you want to consult you know clear your head out and clear your mind and clear your energy space out first before you make a decision or before you make a choice or before you even work on manifesting right now because i'm getting this space and this energy of things being a little muddled let's look at what's going on with your um oracle messages big time okay first things first okay wow all right we have the ladybug card Oh, and I just looked at the clock and it is 11, 11. So the ladybug, for those of you guys that don't know, it brings good luck. It brings blessings. It brings abun well, not abundance, but it, it foretell, it forebodes like it, it will, when it shows up and when it lands on you, it, it, or lands in your life or shows up in your life, it says that there's a change of events. This is a good time of good fortune and abundance. Okay, good, so I was just about to say that. So be willing to receive all good things in your life. Big time energy on being receptive. And then also the shark here, you guys. The shark came up for you. The crazy thing about sharks is that they actually prefer muddled water. They actually prefer brackish water. A lot of sharks do, as far as I know. Um, and that's exactly what it is that I'm getting here. And it's all about relying on your intuitive senses in those times where things are murky or cloudy. Trust your instincts to discern the truth of the, of the situation. So if you are in a situation that does feel murky or cloudy, don't 
panic about it. There's actually a blessing there because it requires you to rely more on your intuitive gifts, your intuitive senses versus what logically and emotionally makes sense for you. And I feel like the thing, the reason why things are murky and cloudy right now is because there's a lot of emotions and logic that you might be overly relying on or that might be in your current in environment and circumstances and it really helps to ground yourself and snap you out of that so that you can be sharp with your senses once more and then make a move with this shark too i'm getting this vision of this ant like of the shark kind of moseying around and when it picks up on something then it goes in and it crashes in and it and it, it attacks it that's what it is i'm seeing for you guys especially with the page of air here there was something else especially with the knight of fire so knight of wands and the six of air so it's like you want to kind of cleanse the space clear the space and the space is the mind and the, and the energy around you and then as soon as the space feels clear and you have direction that's when you go in for the attack and by attack i mean you go for whatever it is that you're manifesting okay fork in the road perfectionism truth forgiveness then we have death here reversed and we have this really awesome deck it says don't live to 94 without founding an art movement the practical should also be art does your geometry lack poetry yeah do you see how we're kind of working with and we have also the card imagine here so this card imagine it brings me to good and bad like how i said with six of cups this is when you can imagine the greatest thing and this is also when you imagine the worst. And basically what changes is your perception. What changes is your focus. What changes is your energy. So, and with this fork in the road card, I'm really getting this strong sense that, and with the death card, you guys are in this space of transition right now. And there's aspects in your journey and aspects within your life that obviously you might be needing to let go of but there's i just i'm getting this really strong sense of not relying again on the emotional or the logical or the tangible evidence to just to support you where you're at or what you're feeling right now intuitively and also emotionally because if you're um intuitively picking up on something you emotionally start to sense if something is right or wrong um yeah i just feel like right now if you're pulling this card if you're pull, if you chose this pile, it's not about making a decision right here, right now. It's about kind of allowing the, the the water to kind of clear out a little bit. And the water is a metaphor. So it could be the mind, it could be your workspace, it could be your living space, your current circumstances. Allow them to clear out first and get that crisp energy into your life right now. Get something that clears you out that focus you mint nettle catnip are awesome all those things are things that showed up in your in your reading so and you also need to invite in an awakening you need to invite in freshness and follow and observe and listen to your intuition and when it's time to act you will know but for right now i don't want you um like uh being overly proactive meaning you know jumping 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 in um too soon that's the truth here it's and that's the thing too forgiveness card is reversed truth card is reversed perfectionism is reversed perfectionism is such a lie it's this idea that something needs to be perfect or something needs to be a certain way in order for it to be right or solid or good or bad or that it's not ready when it actually is is time it becomes imprisoning the mind becomes imprisoning the energy starts to get locked up if you don't allow things to just be or if you have this heightened expectation of what things are or what you know what it is and it's no longer becomes a truth it becomes a fallacy and you could end up really locking yourself up or spirit might be guiding you to see that there there is more to this than meets the eye right now but i'm seeing you know a lot of messages coming through if you invite your guides and if you invite the divine and communicate you know go back to that sacred space that's really going to you know clear your mind and open those channels this could also be dietary lifestyle you know dietary and lifestyle changes or being physically active or maybe not being so physically active and going into a space where you're a little bit more grounded and centered 
But either way, it's a change in the routine and I was just looking at that candle and it just burnt out. It just went out. That tells me that it's done. That tells me it's too much. Whatever it is, it's too much. It needs to be smothered out. And it is done, literally death card. Time to move forward. And in that space, my loves, especially with six of air here, this is mental clarity moving forward and realizing that what's ahead of you is going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be refreshing. But we can't sit and be stagnant. It's time to switch it up. You guys hear the church bells? It's time. I love you guys. Thank you so much for choosing this pile. This pile feels very refreshing. It feels very refreshing. You might not feel it, but I feel it for you. It feels very refreshing. If this message resonated, and also Ladybug card, you guys, you have good luck here. If this message makes sense and it resonated with you, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. It really does make a difference in who is able to, you know, cross paths with my channel and my messages. It's free to do it. It doesn't cost you a thing. Okay, so I would really appreciate that love and support. And if you want to, feel free to share. But make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel to play more videos where this came from. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, my loves, if you chose pile number two, this is your message. Let's see what we've got. Okay, these jumped right out. Wow, death card. Page of air. Page of swords. It's so interesting because with this card right now, I'm getting the message of crossroads. Um, this pile, you're in the in-between. You're from one, you're on one side and you're headed to the next and it's either right before you jump or right in the in-between where you're <laughs> already jumped, but I'm getting one space to the next space. It's this transition, big time transition. I'm hearing the words celebrate this transition. Don't judge it, don't be scared. I just heard heightened. Something feels heightened right now. Emotions feel heightened. Energy feels heightened. Um, energy, um, the vibes, everything is heightened. Everything is brought bigger, bigger, bigger. Even as I'm saying this, I'm getting so much surge of energy. It feels like a like a like a, a blowtorch, you guys. I was gonna say it, it has the power of like an ocean or the wind, but it's it's fire. It's fire, it's hot, it's heat, it's aggressive. Oh my goodness, six of fire. See what I'm saying? Six of fire. There is a lot that is popping off. It needs to be celebrated. I have chills. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I genuinely have chills. This pile has a lot of heat, fire, excitement, enthusiasm popping off. We want to celebrate it. It's a reward. We've worked so hard. We've come so far. Spirits like keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Trust, trust, trust. Call on us for strength, call on us for support, call on us for encouragement. We're gonna keep you going, we're gonna keep you going. Wow, um, there, there's things that you're saying right now. I'm almost getting fighting. I'm almost getting, it feels like you're fighting. It feels like you're combative, but I just heard rewarded. You're, you're telling people, I'm getting a really strong message of, you're, you're telling people your boundaries. You're telling, you're being clear. You're being clear on what you want. You're kind of giving this, definitive statements. This is what I want. This is what it is. This is where it's at. Like, this is where I'm going. This is what's up. And either you're having these conversations with other people or you're having this conversation with yourself or you're having this conversation, sorry guys, with the world, but it's very like forward. It's And spirit is like, okay, yeah, step. You're, you're stepping into your power. You're stepping into, I just heard you're moving past your comfort zone. You're moving into a new comfort zone where the old you doesn't accept or reward ill behavior or lackluster energy. It just, wow, okay, <laughs> say less. Um, wow, okay, we have the star card here. For me, this is reversed, but the reason why I'm feeling like it's reversed for you guys and the message behind that is that this is something that's been long overdue. This is something that's been in the works for a minute and you're being encouraged by spirit and celebrating, spirit is celebrating you. I'm also getting a space of ancestor work. I'm definitely getting a space of ancestor work, which is interesting because just yesterday I was talking to Instagram, those who are following me on Instagram, 
Okay, actually, Spirit was just like, that's enough with the cards, and that's fine. Um, I was just talking to my friends on Instagram, you know, you guys, if you're following me, about ancestry and ancestry work and how to connect with your ancestors and how each each um, individual process to do that is, is different. It's so different. So I'm going to have a video um, going up on that shortly. But I'm seeing either you celebrating your ancestors, your ancestors celebrating you, or this mutual give and receive, this mutual acknowledgement of each other, and it feels very celebratory. There's this part of you that feels like you might have closed a chapter that your ancestors, those who came before you, weren't able to do it, but you're doing it. I'm hearing the word, um, for some of you guys, it's like a graduation. Um, maybe you're the first person in your family to graduate. Maybe you're the first person to um, be successful in some area in, or avenue in your life. Maybe you're, or maybe you're repeating something that your ancestors or your family has done before you, but you're doing it on your terms, your way. I'm hearing a lot about being very open to the lessons of all of this. There's this space of... Um, Okay, what your ancestors have done before, like that's what worked for them in different times, right? And whether and you can have all the guidance and all the all the all the stories that have been shared to you, but you also kind of have to kind of figure it out on your own. You know, you also have to kind of tinker with it. So even though, and there's this message right now that's coming through that your your guides right now are are saying. You know this this journey isn't over yet it's going to open up a new chapter um and a whole another can of worms which isn't a bad thing it just means that you're gonna have to this is not a warning you guys this is just realistic your your ancestors it feels very ancestor ancest, ancestral to me right now but your ancestors your guides are are clearly telling me that you know they want to prepare you for the highs and the lows and don't expect lows but what i mean by that is you're gonna have your own problems you're gonna have your own solutions that you find that you discover through tinkering i don't know why the word is tinkering so it's like you're kind of tinker your way through this journey you're tinkering your way through this experience you might be the first person who in your family that decides you know what i'm not going to get married or i don't i'm not going to co-sign to this this experience or um everyone else wants me to be at home but i'm going to be traveling um, so it's something that you're kind of doing to kind of upset, upset the, the, and by upset, I mean, just kind of do things differently, switch it up, but it's so supported by your ancestors right now. And they, they see that you are honoring your vision. You're honoring your life. You're honoring your life, your life, your journey, how, where you're called to go. And even though they may have done it, might've done it differently, or they would have had different choices or options um that that they would have chosen but you guys have the same dedication you guys have the same determination you have the same authentic answer to things and you are so supported in that right now you are so supported in that and that's what they are celebrating beautiful this uh, also this is um not just your ancestors what's coming through it's not just your ancestors it's also the people around you but at the same time it doesn't matter what other people think it's what you think it's what you feel and i'm just hearing this leveling up of and i don't know why but spirit is is really trying to focus on um and telling you like don't be disappointed or defeated or frustrated by the obstacles the problems that you might be dealing with or that you're going to be dealing with it's not a warning to make you feel on edge or unease. It's actually encouraging. I just feel like this pile just needs to hear it now so that when it happens, because it's going to happen, you're encouraged and be like, okay, this is an opportunity for me to find a different solution to an old problem. You know what I mean? And there's so much encouragement here. This is where this crossroads is. You get to choose especially with the marigold, you have, you're in this in-between stage right now. You're either just about to jump, you're just about to do something new, different. You're in this in-between or you've already done it. Wow, High Priestess, you guys, speaking of crossroads, she's the one who guards the physical and the intangible. She, she guards the physical world and the spiritual world. She's at the in-between. So, and this is about manifestation, discernment, prophecy, vision. 
she's sitting at her altar and she's trying to figure out or she's being intuitively guided sorry guys i'm getting a message right now something about um Um, like medicine, I was thinking astrology, but it's not. It's they're they're bringing me to astrology because uh, that's the work that I do, where I look at the stars, and every planet. I'm sorry, every plant is ruled by a planet, and that's how I create medicine. That's how I create healing in my for my body, but also in my candles, in my oils, and in my intention. And that's what they are calling me to talk to you about, that this is about that tinkering and figuring out what works for you and what works for your life through your own visions, through your own prophecy. And I see you taking on the advice and the counsel of those who've come before you. So, you know, gurus, teachers, ascended masters, your um, ancestors, your family now, your friends now, and listening to what they have done and their experiences. But you are also going to find what works for you because you have a very brilliant mind. You're being very divinely inspired by spirit right now. And those things are what are what being is being factored in. And as I'm saying that, you guys, you have this card of this doctor who's working on tinkering. He's working on trial and error, what works. And that's so funny because what may have worked before or something that you thought would have been a solution for one thing ends up being a solution for something else. Ends up, you know, totally fixing a problem somewhere else. Then we have, oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> oh, I could not make this up. Did I tell you ancestors? Your ancestral spirit guys are offering you guidance now, so pay close attention to signs and omens from them. Wow, I literally said this. Stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. Wow. I'm pretty sure that I just, I'm pretty sure. Round and round, building blocks. I gotta look at all of these. I got to, I didn't see. Feelings and solitude. So I just, okay, first, oh, I'm getting a lot right now. I'm getting a lot, very excited. Okay, so round and round right? This is what has been done before, right? But it's different. It's the same, but it's different. And you get to build with that. You get to tinker with that. You get to create with that. You get to do differently, even though things, these cycles kind of repeat themselves, but you, you're, you're innovating right now. You're innovating. You're actively innovating, innovating. It's bold. It's assertive. It's dominant. It's in your face. It's fired up. It's here. It's ready. It's present. And I just feel with your feelings right now, this is not so much like, I feel like emotional feelings, relationship feelings, like things when you're like in love or things when you're, it's like, I just feel with this pile, you're canceling out things that are distracting you, distracting you from your purpose and your prime. I don't know why I just heard that. You're, you're canceling out and, and avoiding things or putting off on the back burners, things that are taking you away from your prime. Prime what? I don't know. Everyone's going to receive this message differently, but that's what it means by solitude and feelings. So some of you guys might have been, I just feel, I, I, this is just what I'm feeling. This is just what I'm feeling. Anything that takes away from your prime, your, your, your core, <clears throat> your goal right now, your focus, you are not chasing it. You are not trying to get engaged in all of those things. You are here present now working on the building blocks, tinkering. It feels very purpose driven. It feels very work oriented. It feels very, this is who I am. This is my legacy. This is my life. And I'm doing things my way. Wow. I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to leave that there. I don't even want to give you guys advice because you have it. <laughs> You have it. Please let me know down in the comments, you know, what, how this message resonates and how it makes sense because I want to hear it. Also, um, please give this video a thumbs up um, because it means that other people who would be able to benefit from this message will be able to see it just the way that YouTube, YouTube algorithms work. And in the meantime, listen, please subscribe. Please subscribe because we're back here. Um, I'm back and I'm ready to... Get back into pulling more cards for you guys and doing more readings. 
I think the next reading that I'll be doing for you guys will be a love message, but we'll see. Let me know down in the comments if that makes sense. I mean, you guys are obviously focusing on what you're focusing on and you're not letting anything get in the way of that. So let me know what you would like to see next, what questions you guys have on your heart, because I'm here for it. Let me know down in the comments. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in again. And I'm going to move on to pile number three. Okay, my love. So if you chose pile number three, ooh, <laughs> this is your message. Wow. Let's just go ahead and start right here. <laughs> Oh my God, I don't know why this is so funny to me right now. <laughs> um, this is one of those piles. Okay, guys, I'm going to try really hard to um, relax. So sometimes, you guys know when I start feeling things and feeling messages, <laughs> I could literally cry, I could feel anger, I could feel whatever sadness, depression, depending on what spirit is giving me. And right now, <laughs> and that's just a part of my channeling process. I always tell my clients when I'm, when I was working with them, when I was doing readings, cause I'm closed for readings now. Um, but I always tell them that if I cry or if I get emotional or if I show emotion, don't get worried when I'm channeling, I'm done. I don't feel that anymore with you guys. The reason why I'm saying that is because I'm feeling a surge of emotion. And this is one of those things where the spirit, I'm like trying so hard not to crack up, but um, spirit is like, listen, one day this is going to be funny. One day this is going to be hilarious. And you might be laughing now. All of this from this one card, like, okay. All of this from this one card. And you guys are probably like, where is she getting this from? Spirit, I swear. I swear. But one day this is going to be funny, but for right now, it might be like a lot. You might have a lot on your plate. You might have a lot going on. It might be kind of, it's just like ridiculous. Like it's just ridiculous. Um, but to, to, to move that aside, you know, spirit is really trying to, I, this is where I, what I'm getting. If spirit is laughing at this situation right now, or if spirit is having this big belly laugh and this chuckle and smiling, you are definitely called to do that. Look, eight of wands. <laughs> and I don't mean to laugh at this situation um, or these circumstances. It's just, it really is a lot. Um, okay, so if spirit can have a belly, belly laugh at this situation, you are definitely called to do the same thing if you if you possibly can and there's and if it's not that you can't laugh there's going to be situations there's something about laughter here there's something about laughing at the memory or laughing at you know what it what what's what happened what's going on let's say this is something so bad like because i don't really want to get into there's i've had a lot of clients recently and it's just Pluto retrograde, you guys. It's Pluto retrograde, it's Saturn retrograde. So there's a lot of things going on right now that are very, very heavy for a lot of people. Um, but even in that, and spirit, this is where things get controversial and this is where it's hard for me sometimes to, to give readings to people because, yeah, tower card. But okay, we're I'm just getting a lot of cards, messages right now. Um, because spirit, like, doesn't see things the way that we see things. It sees things from a higher lens, a higher perspective. So it is able to laugh at things or it's able to look at something that seems so bad and or seems so problematic or troublesome and laugh at it or look at the, the positive in all of this. Um, one thing in particular is, and I thought that I wasn't gonna say this, but I'm, I keeps popping up and this is just spirit reminding me. Let's say the situation is someone who has passed, right? Um, in your life currently, especially with Pluto retrograde and Saturn retrograde transits right now, which that's a topic for another discussion. They just break down and remove things that, you know, we can't hide from anymore. And I've been seeing that with my clients. I've been seeing that in the messages, comments, and emails, unexpected deaths and stuff like that. So let's say it's as, as permanent and as drastic as a death or something. Um, this is where you laugh at not the situation because of how painful it is, but you're going to one day look at all the memories and the good times that you guys had together and it's go that's what you're gonna remember. That's what you're gonna feel, right? Um, 
let's say it's something as as major as like a breakup or cheat cheating scandal because that's another thing too it doesn't feel like it in the moment but there's going to be times and it happened i've i've lived through it and my best friends have lived through it where it's like in the moment we were crying so hard when someone had did something awful but years later we lo we look back and we laugh at we're able to laugh at it somehow and so let's, those are the worst case scenarios I can think of, but the opposite side is let's say you've got a whole lot going on in your life, a whole lot on the pot. You've got two cards here of someone in the kitchen cooking, doing a lot, doing the most. You guys might, this is a pile that has a lot going on, a lot that is happening, and spirit is like, approach this with humor. A approach, approach this as much as you can with a belly laugh. And then also, this card here, they're creating a bath. It's about, that's the first thing that even got this energy going. It's about relaxing, having fun, and the ability to detox. The ability to laugh itself will create antioxidants in the body that switches up the, the, entire, the entire game. And the thing is, my loves, with this tower card, this tower card is connected to mushrooms right? Mushrooms, people take mushrooms in order to have epiphanies and life-changing revelations, right? So sometimes you'll see someone who is tripping their balls off, <laughs> literally and figuratively, tripping their balls off, you know, crying at a tree because that tree represents the, all the people in their lives that they lost or all the things that they've had to say goodbye to or all the aspects in, within themselves that are inauthentic or, or suffering. And then all of a sudden when they release those emotions, then they start laughing because they realize that they are in a heightened state of bliss and they don't need to hold on to this baggage anymore on their heart. And that's what the purpose of the mushroom is, is to transcend human 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 thought human perspective into this higher spiritual perspective that's what i see for this group right now <laughs> holy goodness <laughs> so i'm i'm with you you guys i am with you i'm with you wow i'm hearing everything is going is here to make you stronger and you want to laugh, you want to have joy, you want to, oh my goodness, Empress, World, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Earth, I'm hearing, it's okay. It's okay. This is a pile that really is grown up, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but you grew up really fast, or you're being called to grow up really fast right now. Even if you're 60 years old, there's a lot of quick moving Yep, three of three of air, three of swords. This means that this pile has been through, lived through a lot. Maybe not their entire life, although I wouldn't be surprised if this was your entire life. It's just like, you know, it's a lot, a lot. And oh my goodness, I'm having this tremendous gratitude that I'm just here with you right now. Just really, I'm just so, I feel it. I feel how good this is, this moment, and I'm doing the right thing. Like, I, this is, uh, Spirit is kind of talking to me right now, specifically to me, and maybe this is a message for you guys as well, but I just feel I'm, I'm doing the right thing. That I'm doing, oh, I really kind of like needed to hear that, you guys. I kind of feel like, oh, that was definitely a message for me there that I wasn't expecting, it just kind of came in through. It's like, see Jess, see, you know, and I really appreciate that because, you know, sometimes life, you never know if you're doing it, if you're doing it right or if you're messing it up as you go along. Three of earth, raspberries. Sometimes you don't see the reward right away. Sometimes you don't see the difference that you're making. Sometimes you don't see all of the fruit of it. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. Sometimes it's a bit of a struggle. Sometimes it's a bit of an obstacle. But it's, you also have a lot of threes here, you guys. I don't know. Yeah, the Empress is here. Now this message is back to you guys for sure. I just, I guess Spirit needed, wanted to tell me something in this pile, which I don't mind. I'm always open to receiving. But you guys, you know, you're doing like the threes here. It's about receptive. It's about, you know, receiving. You have three of air, three of, wow, three of air, three of cups, Empress, and three of earth. What are we missing here? We would have three of... Three of fire. So that's another thing too. I teach this in the sacred circle, my sacred circle tarot school. Um, I tell them to look at 
the cards that show up, but also think about the ones that didn't. And in this circumstance, I'm the Three of Wands is the only card that's missing, which is the card of expecting more. It's like waiting, waiting, waiting for something that you know is, is coming to you. And this is telling me that don't I, I'm because this is the only that's the only card that's missing in these threes. It's showing me that you need to want you are going to need to want and that's a mouthful, but you're going to need to want to be here present in the moment now. To not go <clears throat> anywhere else, to not look elsewhere. The grass is not greener over there. It's green where you're, greener where you water it. And right now, I'm seeing you watering your spirit. You're watering your circumstances. You're watering your energy. You're watering yourself. And I'm seeing bath time energy. So, and this pile definitely deserves it. Like, everyone deserves it, but this pile definitely deserves it. And I keep going back to this bathtub scene. Creating a sacred space, not to give to spirit or others or the community but to yourself that in itself is a ritual that in itself is a gift that in itself is honoring the highest believe it or not sometimes we just want to give 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 but you give you two are a temple you two are a sacred space so you have to take care of that Wow, that's a message. Okay, let's see what we have here. The dog, loyalty, serenity, and unconditional love. I just heard, I'm not going anywhere, and that's a good thing. I'll wait for you. I'll be present with you. I'll be here with you. Also, you want that for yourself. I'm seeing some of you guys saying that to yourself. I'm here for you now. Protection, oh, angel face. You are protected, you are guarded, you are guided. Especially with the seaweed here in the bathtub. It's like going to that space of nourishment. Wow, Frida Kahlo showed up for you guys. Yeah, wow. Tracy. In externalize your internal world. Wow, okay. Concentrate on finding, not losing yourself in your art. See, it's all about you. DK can be fertilizer for new ideas, exactly. Direction. Calmness. No place like home. Higher power. And then we have rattlesnake. The experiences that you're presently going through are an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer and snow leopard. Take some time out of your usual life and spend it in solitude. See, some of you guys are feeling like you've lost a little bit of your direction. Some of you guys are feeling like you're out of sorts, you're out of alignment. And that's not actually the case. You feel disconnected because you you've kind of have a little bit of an imbalance of giving. I'm just feeling like you're giving a lot or you've been doing a lot or there's been a lot that's been happening. So it kind of feels like you're doing the wrong thing because that's all you're doing is doing. And I'm just seeing and I literally remember how I said when and I teach this in the sacred circle. It's one of the one of the many tips that I give my students. It's not about the cards that are here, it's also the ones that didn't show up. And Three of Wands is always is looking out on the horizon. It's expecting the next great thing. It's expecting the next big thing. And it's just the fact that it's missing right now says to me everything. And the fact that you are in the space of number three, receptivity, receiving, no place like home, higher power, calmness, direction, rattlesnake, snow leopard, Frida Kahlo. It's about being here present now and, and nurturing and nourishing yourself and pulling all of it back in. Look at what she's doing. She's pulling all of the energy back into herself, back into her sacred space, back into her wound, back into her root chakra. She needs that. Have calmness there. It's not that you've lost direction. It's not that you've gone off course. It's the fact that you're just so active and doing, doing, doing that it feels like you're off. You're not. You're not. Okay, one more card, you guys. I feel like spirit. Yep. Nine of fire. This is my I'm tired group. 
I'm tired. Everything is being dried out. I don't know if you guys see this. It's the herbs, the work, the effort. It's being dried out, which is good because it lasts. But it also takes time. These, the drying out process, it preserves what you've already created, what you've already started, and that process does take time. And you, you really, this is the pile of healers and the hopeful and the faith-filled. And all of these experiences are, are there to turn you into even more of a powerful leader, even more of a powerful healer. But right now, the healer needs to be healed. The healer needs to be grounded. The healer needs to focus on themselves for right now. And that is okay. Find calmness in that and then regain your direction. It's not that you're regaining your direction, it's regaining your perspective on your direction right now, okay? Remember, you are a sacred space too. You are a temple, your body is a temple and that also needs to be taken care of just as much as you take care of everyone else, just as much as you are loyal, unconditionally loving and accepting of others is how you want to give to yourself right now. I'm sending you guys all my love. Please hit the thumbs up button because it allows other people to receive these messages. Um, it put, kind of puts it puts it out there for the others. That's just how the YouTube algorithm works. I want to invite you into my community, the Bahati Vibe Tribe, by subscribing to the YouTube channel and turning on your notifications so that you can see when I'm uploading a video because there's plenty more videos where this came from. Big, big time. And thank you guys so much again for being so encouraging of me during this massive um, moment in my life of you know buying a home and setting settling roots setting roots for the first time in my life one of the things I'll be working on um, in the next month I think or two months is creating a whole crystal grid around this home and um, you know just to protect it and to raise the vibration and make it a beacon a total beacon in a space for you know for me to live love laugh <laughs> and thrive. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Live, laugh, love.